In today's video, we're going to be retiring Sergio Aguero and making him a manager for five seasons. In all honesty, it's a real shame Sergio Aguero had to retire. I still feel like he had a couple of seasons in him, if not for the injuries. He even scored in an El Clasico for Barcelona, by the way. But yeah, nothing can take away what he's achieved in the Premier League. One of the greatest strikers the Premier League has ever seen. That goal versus QPR, I don't think anyone can ever forget. In today's video, we're going to be having a bit of fun. First of all, we're going to be retiring Sergio Aguero. Confirm your retirement. There you go. And now we're going to be a manager. Now, you're wondering what club are you going to manage with Sergio Aguero? Let me explain. All right, guys. So I'm on Sergio Aguero's wiki page. And you guys can see over here the clubs Aguero has played for. Independiente in Argentina, Atletico Madrid, Manchester City, and Barcelona. So I'm thinking for the five seasons, we try and manage all five of these clubs and try and win some silverware at every club we go. I think it could be a fun challenge to do. Maybe Aguero could do something like this in real life if he wants to, you know, become a manager. This should be fun. So I guess we'll be starting at Independiente. First time going into the Argentina League in, in, in any of my videos. There you go, guys. We're joining Independiente. The first club in this challenge is going to be in Argentina, then hopefully Atletico Madrid, then a couple of seasons at City and then Barca. That is the plan. Let's see how how this goes. We're going to do it in the same safe file as well. I'm actually excited for this, so let's join Independiente. There you go, signing the contract. Off goes Aguero to the club where it all began for him. And there you go, Sergio Aguero is now the new manager of Independiente. And with that, the challenge begins. The objective is to try and win trophies at every club as a manager. We have got to also make Argentinian signings. That's going to make things a bit more interesting. But yeah, if you're excited for this video and if you want to just appreciate Aguero's career, drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new around here. Well, let's go. All right, here we go with season one. As you guys can see, Sergio Aguero, Independiente. I kind of want to make signings of players Aguero has played with. I think that would be a lot of fun. Might be difficult, though, to do that. This Independiente team is not all that insane. I reckon if we can get, like, a cam and maybe a center back, that'd be nice. we got to be smart about the kind of transfers we can make as well. Interesting, man. First time ever playing in the Argentinian League on the channel. I know a few players here are certainly talented talented let's actually see who are the youngsters of this squad that should give us a good idea how do you check the age there you go this is much better so bustos i know is decent we can chuck a quick development plan on him and make him a little bit op defensive wide back why not lucas romero is still pretty old velasco if we're gonna win trophies this season we gotta get him to as high of an overall as possible so that's key this barreto guy looks decent as well we'll put a stopper plan on him but yeah that's where it kind of dies down what's the budget 13 million Ooh, it's not gonna be that easy but remember the other teams in this competition also don't have all insane overalls or anything so yeah let's just see who's gonna be the competition we've got hey look at that messi's former club newells there are 26 clubs in the in the argentinian first division wow Boca Juniors, I reckon, is going to be the team to beat. Let's see. I think the player I want to sign is David Silva. But how difficult is this going to be? Oh, David Silva is going to be a nightmare to sign. We'll need about 26 million for that. Oh, maybe if I can sell a few players and generate a bit of cash, it might be possible. I'm not entirely sure that he would fit right into that camp spot. I don't think the signing of David Silva will be possible. So I'm thinking, why not Gerard Pique? He has played with Aguero and he might be a affordable might just be affordable let's see let's see if we can sign Gerard Piquet we just need one season from him because we're gonna be here only for a season if we can sign Piquet that'll be insane 12 million is gonna be my offer let's see if Xavi's willing to accept 15.4 we gotta reduce that we gotta reduce that because we need money to pay the wages to 13 million ah 15.4 it seems non-negotiable what about 14 million I'm being as stingy as possible guys because we need money to use to you know get him that contract as well let's reduce it even more 14.3 million and finally they're accepting that this could be the only signing we make but it is what it is now we got to negotiate the contract yes yeah, Sergio Aguero looking all fine dressed up in the suit as manager is <laughs> signing Aguero by the way crucial squad role that's what he wants an 84 rated center back could be the key of us winning in Argentina or not we'll give him a two-year deal reckon he should accept that there you go look at that wages oh my god 
How do we how do we pay him that? We can pay him maybe sixty thousand. Ah, oh, that, that we, the most we can pay is fifty five, I guess, and we'll pay him like a signing bonus of four hundred thousand. That that's the most we can do. Ah, oh, we need extra money for PK guys. We need to sell a player or two before we can afford him. Hang on a minute. This might be the the cash we need. We just sold some random dude for like 2.9 million. I think his release clause was met. And that's put us with 16 million. I reckon now we've got the cash to buy Gerard Pique. We gotta wait a bit until we can sign him. So let's do that. Round two with Gerard Pique. Hopefully we can get him for a similar price. Let's go. We're gonna start with 12 million as our offer and just see what they say. 18 million. Now they want even more money. These guys, man. Barcelona. Please negotiate with a bit of good faith. 13 million is gonna be my counter offer 15.4 that's a lot better we'll drop that down to 14 milli and let's see what they say if they still want that 15.4 come on Barca I'm not liking this I am not liking this 14.2 million and there you go we've got a deal if we try and delegate the offer ah uh, that, that just he won't accept it PK just won't accept that we'll have to negotiate for the contract and just try and convince him that independiente is where you need to be I don't know how. Maybe do it as a good favor to, of course, uh, Aguero, man. One year deal, I guess. No release clause. These are his demands. Oh, we can't afford it. We can't. This is what we can afford. Oh, this is tough. He's stuck. Oh, come on, Sergio. Come on, Sergio. Don't do me like this. We'll do this. Oh, we just can't. Oh, we'll be left with 16 euros. Aguero, no. We don't have the cash for this. Oh. Huh, we'll end negotiations. We'll try again later. Final round of negotiations with PK. I swear if we don't sign him now. This is literally take three of trying to sign PK, man. Like, oh my god. We do have a little more cash after selling like one or two players here and there. So please, just, just work. Please. We can afford him. Oh, let's just accept it. There you go. Aguero manages to sign PK at Independiente. We're bringing PK to Argentina. There you go. Oh, what a, what a struggle this was. All right, so we do have... Gerard Piquet in here. I'll put this lasso guy in there. Does he have good potential? No, he's, he's old. Uh, we'll just put this guy then. That's how the team is looking like for us. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby, guys. We'll use this team. Oh, we should make him like a right sentiment. There you go. We'll use this team. We don't have money to do anything else. We'll use this team until the end of the season and see if we can win some silverware in Argentina. Just one season. We've signed PK. Let's see. I'm so confused with how the Argentinian league works. Apparently, the games are done in April. It's a bit weird. And what about the Conmobel Libertadores or whatever that's called? Copa Libertadores. When does that happen? Um, well, guys, we finish fifth in the league. What about the Libertadores? What just happened here? Qualifying round. I don't think we even qualified for it. We just finished fifth. Union won the league. River Plate. Where's Boca? Juniors. We finished above them, so we'll take that, but I am confused. What is Ricopa now? Santos are playing this. Well, the Conmobel Libertadores has confused the hell out of me. But anyways, um, that's that for the first season, I guess, in, in Aguero's career. Finished fifth. I guess we'll take it. Time to move on to Atletico. That's where he moved next in his career. Oh, before that, who were the stars of this team? Velasco, 100%. He was the decent one. Bustos did well. Striker Romero wasn't all too bad. What about our boy Gerard Pique? Scored a goal here not too bad all right guys time for our new project it's at atletico madrid for one season the only club we're going to be at a couple of seasons is going to be manchester city because that's where aguero established his career time to go to atleti here we go sergio aguero now manager of atletico madrid this is where i think he established himself as one for the future and a top class goal scorer now we try and win trophies with atleti we couldn't win it with independiente we'll try it with atleti okay what is this formation we're working with nah man i want to stick with a 4-4-2 because that is bad. I don't want to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll have Ja Felix play up top. Luis Suarez. I don't mind that. Carrasco on the left. De Paul in midfield. Play Saul in there. He's back here somehow. Probably need like a right winger, I guess. Oh, Marcus Llorente goes in midfield. What am I doing putting De Paul in there? Saul, for now, we'll put him on the right. We'll put Angel Correa up top, I guess. I mean, a lot of players are literally like on international duty now, so it's making it kind of difficult to figure out. Harry Maguire? 
What's he doing at Atletico? Nah, dude, we'll put you on the bench, but still, that is a bit of a weird one. No one here good enough for this club. Guys, Oblak is gone. We need a keeper. Jan Oblak is not here at Atleti anymore. We need a keeper more than anything else. The Paul being here is nice because he's, he's one of Aguero's, you know, mates. The Copa America camaraderie is there. So let's see what we can do with Atleti. 117 million should be enough to get us a top class keeper. Let's go with someone Aguero's played with in his career. We're in need of a goalkeeper and I can only think of one man. And he's someone I think who kind of fits the Atletico spirit. That's Emiliano Martinez. 85 rated should be you know definitely a player we can afford we saw at the copa america how good he was perfect player i think to bring in here so we'll start off with 40 million good thing is we have money to make this happen they want depaul get out of here we're not giving you depaul we'll give you 43 million instead and let's see if cherard is willing to negotiate for uh for emiliano martinez 47 million who thought aguero and cherard would be out here negotiating for players there you go 47 million works another player i'm gonna go for is another Argentinian. You guys would have known the, the team right now. And that's Angel Di Maria. I think this is the last season we can actually sign him because his overall is going to dip soon. So I'm thinking he's 85 rated. He will be a starter. Might as well try and get him for like 36 million or so. Why the hell not? Everybody wants De Paul, by the way, and we're giving De Paul to nobody. Nah, never. 39 million, they want 42.4, we can afford it, so let's go. First signing we make, we get that goalkeeper in the team, Emiliano Martinez. Absolutely brilliant. Let's put him right in that starting 11. Come on, where is he? There you go. Emiliano Martinez is right there in the 11. Next up, Angel Di Maria confirming the deal. There you go, that's done. Di Maria is now an Atletico Madrid player. There you go. Go a couple of really smart signings. We will put Angel Di Maria instead of Corona over here. There you go. And we'll make him a right winger. Perfect. To try and preserve Di Maria's overall for the season, gotta try and put him on like maybe an inverted winger development plan. So that should keep his overall as high as possible. All right, boys, with that, I think I'm done with all my signings. I would love to maybe bring in a right back, actually. Ah, oh, Arias is the only right back we've got. That's like one of the Achilles heels of this team, you could say, because... Oh, Thomas Muller on the bench. How did I not even see him? We'll put him at least on the bench, I guess. I need to sort out the bench. Let me quickly do that. The bench has been sorted out, but it looks like we've got a lot of average players in the team too that maybe I can use swap deals to get rid of and maybe bring in a top-class right back. Let's see if that's possible. What's the cash looking like? 28 million, okay. Ooh, what about a player I think Aguero's played a fair bit with? Kyle Ward. Walker, he's 32. I reckon we might be able to get a swap deal in with him. We need to join City soon, so taking away Walker from them will be uh, a bit of a iffy one, but let's see. I don't mind giving away this Matthias Cunha guy, because I don't think we're going to use him all that much. So... Let's try a straight, straight swap deal between the two of them. They want an additional 15 milli. So we'll just reduce that to 5.2. Submit offer. There you go. Good business getting Walker in. And there you go. Kyle Walker has been signed by Atletico Madrid. Let's put him right in the team. This team is is decent let me just put it that way this is decent we are going to be in all competitions as well champions league and all so let's him until the end and see what aguero can do in his second year managing a club okay um aguero's career as a manager isn't going down all that well i thought we had a good squad but only third in la liga a couple behind barca madrid flying through i guess kind of realistic seeing the circumstances in real life but i thought we made some good signings man i'm, I'm disappointed with that what about the Cups? Super Copa? Hey, we won at least something. So, yes, Atletico Madrid win a trophy. Come on. Sergio Aguero's first piece of silverware. Spanish Cup. We lost the final to Barca. That's a bummer. What's up in the Champions League? Let's see. Oh, we were in a group with PSG and we still came out on top. That's mental. But in the round of 16, knocked out to Lazio. No way, man. That is, oh, that is, that, that, that just sucks. That really sucks. Final of City and PSG. At least we know that City team is going to be capable. So when we get there, things could get spicy. All right, who would like the top performers for us? Ja, Felix, am I, I'm not even surprised. 31 goals. Di Maria with a good season, by the way. Luis Suarez did well. 28 goals, being just 81 rated. Not too bad. Maguire ended up playing 51 games. I don't know how. DePaul did well. Anyways, that's a bit of fun with the Atletico team. We signed Di Maria, Kyle Walker, Emiliano Martinez, and all of them, I think, did fairly well. Now time to move to Manchester City, where we've got a bit of continuity, being there for a couple of seasons. Let's see how that goes.
Alright guys, we're now starting Season 3 and even Season 4. Both seasons are going to be at Manchester City. Aguero is back at the club where he created history. That incredible goal, everything was there and well, we're now at City. Alright, so the team we're working with at Man City is honestly a bit insane. Like Lautaro Martinez, Sterling and Ferran Torres, what a front three. And their backup front three is Gabriel Jesus, Grealish and Mares. Like what even is that? I reckon signings wise all we got to do is probably bring in like a CDM, maybe a right back because we did sign Kyle Walker away from City. So those couple of signings and I reckon we're sorted for the season. So how much money do we have? That's the real question. 500 million. Good Lord. We can sign whoever we want here. Let's just sign the best players in those positions. For right back, I'm going to sign another English player. It's the week in Liverpool, but I reckon there isn't a better option than this. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Aguero and him have faced off against each other a fair bit but what a signing this would be it's gonna be expensive as hell but as i said with 500 million might as well get whoever we want let's start with 140 for Klopp. 194 you know what we've got the cash we're just gonna pay whatever they want there you go trent alexander arnold has been signed 90 rated what are those stats even oh boy let's put him right in that starting 11 all we now need is literally a cdm and i think we're sorted gonna go for a brazil Brazilian signing here to replace Fernandinho who is in that position. I reckon Casemiro would be a great pickup. It's Brazilian, but South Americans, unless they play against each other, usually get along. So I, I don't think Aguero is going to have a problem with this. 90 million, I guess, for Casemiro is going to be my first offer. Directly accepted. We've got the cash, so why mess about? There you have it. Casemiro is a confirmed signing in the team. 90 million is what we paid for him. Let's put him right in that starting 11. Gundogan's going to go on the bench. Casemiro here. And that is our first. 11. Wow, that's a, that's a team now. That is a team that's going to win trophies. I can already feel it. Absolutely love the setup we've got here. I guess now that's left is simming until the end of the season and see what we can achieve in season three. Our first season with Man City. Let's win some trophies as manager at the Etihad. Ah, we finished second in the Premier League behind Manchester United. That's not once what Sergio Aguero would have wanted, but oh well, 84 points for Man United. We, we did okay I guess, but four points, good advantage for United, they win the league. What about other competitions? The FA Cup, that goes to United too. The mighty Carabao Cup, yup, we at least win that. Of course, City win the Carabao Cup, that just had to happen. What about the Champions League though? Group stages? Ooh, Inter getting knocked out. We topped our group relatively easily. And in the round of 16, we got the better of Leipzig. Quarterfinals, we got the better of PSG. Semi-finals, got the better of Chelsea. 4-1 in that second leg, a comeback. And we are in the final against Juventus. Aguero never could win the Champions League as a player. Maybe we'll get him that trophy as manager. Let's go. This could be like our first major trophy. Oh boy, come on. We're going to sim this game. Oh no, Lucas Hernandez. Who's going to play instead of him? Ah, oh, come on. Juventus versus City. We win it. Let's go. We've won the Champions League. Aguero as manager has done it. De Bruyne and Ferran Torres' brace get us through. 3-1. That's our first major trophy. And guess what? We're going to be at City for another season too. So we can win maybe more. Who were the top players for us here? Yeah? I'm not surprised. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, wow. 32 goals. He actually went up in his overall at the age of 32. Fair play. Gabriel Jesus did well. Ferran Torres did okay. He's actually leaving the club at the end of the season. That's a bummer. Mares has gone down massively, so I guess we'll need to bring in a right winger next season. Grealish, Lautaro all doing well. Not bad at all, I guess. Trent with a decent season. There you go. Champions League winning Man City side. One more season. Can we go back to back? Okay, guys, we need a right winger. And you guys know who's Messi's best friend. And I think I think you guys know where this is going. Season four, our second season with City. You guys know what I'm going to do. No, thinking, no. We can't have an Aguero video without signing his best friend, Leo Messi, who should still be playing at the age of 37. I think we can get a one, like one good season out of him. I'm pretty sure. 
I don't think we can use him maybe next season at Barcelona, but we can make good use of him at Man City. We could get him for like 60 million or something. I, I don't think that would be crazy. There you go, that works. The only signing I want to make this season is Leo Messi. We'll delegate the contract as well and hopefully get this done. And there you go, guys. Leo Messi has been signed for Manchester City. Aguero is going to be coaching Leo Messi. That's an interesting dynamic, most certainly. But yeah, we've reunited the friends. Messi's going to be playing for Aguero. I reckon if we can put, again, development plans on Messi... We can keep that overall up for quite long. So, yep, that's the only signing I'm making for this season because Messi itself is a blockbuster signing. We put Gabriel Jesus over here. We then put, of course, Messi here. Yeah, that's it. We'll put Sandler over here. Perfect. There you go. That's the team for this second season at City. We won the Champions League last season. Let's do it again. Put Aguero at Man City and look at that. The trophies are flying in. City win the Premier League this time over Manchester United by seven points let's go community shield i didn't check what happened we humiliated man united that's what's up fa cup do we win that now it goes to arsenal fair play the mighty carabao cup no we lost that on pens but okay it's still the carabao cup let's see champions league oh uefa super cup we should have played that we beat sporting so we're winning trophies at city our last season here by the way champions league let's see what happened we topped our group which is perfect round of 16 we got the better of sporting quarterfinals we got the better of leipzig semi-finals it was liverpool we got the better of them and look at that ajax in a champions league final that's interesting all right let's make it back to back look at how messi's retained his overall to an 85 that's mental let's sim this game against ajax and see where we are it's a 2-0 win lautaro and bernardo scoring that's back to back champions league titles here for sergio aguero at city look at the stats messi didn't do all that bad 12 goals and six assists but gabriel jesus was the man i reckon he played more than lautaro martinez raheem sterling did very well 31 goals 15 assists but yeah, there we go. Now, time for a new job. We achieved what we had to at City. Time for the next destination, Barcelona. And now, guys, we've got one last season at Barcelona. Now, Aguero couldn't really make a name for himself at Barca in real life because of the injuries and all. But hopefully, one season to try and win Barca some trophies. Let's see. All right, we might actually have a serious job here at Barca for this one season. I mean, the first team is actually pretty good. We're lacking a right back, though, to be fair. Probably need Need more squad depth because th this is all the squad is so i guess it's all about improving the overall squad the attack is pretty good we've got trinka on the bench too let's see what we can do this season a very different Barca team now that we're in season 5. Nico Gonzalez being 80 rated is pretty cool. 266 million. I think we can do a good job with that. First signing I think we're going to make is Christian Romero from Spurs. Where's he going to be playing right now at? At Spurs. He's still at Spurs. Going to be a bit of an expensive one. But having a quality centre-back I think will be helpful over the course of the season. So let's see how much we can sign him for. Oh, they want a lot of money for Christian Romero. I'm not surprised. He's Argentinian. I think he was the best defender in the Copa America, I think so. 100 million they still want that 111 are oh, frustrating but let's counter with this and finally they do accept it so there you go we'll delegate the contract to another argentine defender i want to go for is montiel i think he's decent as a right back we need a high rated right back and he is fairly high rated he's playing at leicester city i reckon we can get him for like maybe 40 to 50 million that's the dream let's see if that is possible about 40 million is going to be my initial offer he wants 62 okay we will we'll try and meet mid way with them 50.4 milli ah, they still want that 62 but it's fine it's fine no worries no worries at all 56 mil ah, okay we'll just accept it we'll just accept it we need a right back right now the first signing is done christian romero is a part of our squad love that signing absolutely do an 87 rated defender next up gonzalo montiel accepting that as well and now we've got our right back and center back problem sorted we can put endika on the bench over here gavi can stay there and we will put montiel oh rafa varan when did varan appear i wouldn't have signed oh my god i think it was a pre-contract deal or something rafael varan a wild rafa varan has just appeared out of nowhere Wow. So I guess we'll have Tamori on the bench. Unbelievable. That is 
Didn't expect that. Really didn't. Wow, is that insane. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We just got a rougher run up here out of nowhere. Anyways, I think we're gonna still probably go ahead and sign another midfielder. Yeah, I think that's what I wanna do. Another midfielder. We've got about 100 mil. Oh, why not sign Kevin De Bruyne? Oh, that is insane. He, we had him at City and he was amazing for us. Why not sign him for Barcelona? I know he's 34. We just need one season out of him. We've got the money as well, most likely. He's playing at Madrid. We'll weaken Madrid by signing him now. I think that's smart. How much is he gonna cost us though? That's the real question. They want Tomori. You know what? Since we've got Varane and all, I don't mind this. Is this stupid for me? I don't mind this actually. You know what? We'll accept it. It's gonna cause a bit of chaos, but I'll accept it. And with that guys, we've completed the signing of Kevin De Bruyne to Barcelona. He's joining Aguero once again. We'll put him in that midfield along with, of course, we'll do this and then we'll put De Bruyne here. That's a good first team. Good enough to win the Champions League? I'm not so sure, but let's see if we can at least win La Liga. That's the team. Final season as Aguero being manager. Let's sim until the end and see what's up. All right, guys. Final season of Aguero being a manager. Can we win a major trophy for Barcelona? Let's find out. I'm sure we're in the top four. Yup, we are Atletico in seventh. Wow. We're in the top three. We're in the top two. Who wins La Liga? It's Barcelona. We've won them. La Liga at the very least. That is amazing. And by a big margin too. Let's go. Real Madrid beat us the Super Cup, which is a bummer. What about the Spanish Cup? Girona of all teams winning that. Fair enough. Oh, by the way, City won the UEFA Super Cup. That's nice to see. And in the Champions League, we topped our group, which is brilliant. And we managed to get the better of of Borussia Dortmund. Epic. Quarterfinals, we got the better of Monaco. Again, epic, but Manchester United knock us out of the Champions League, and well, it's gonna be a United Liverpool final. So, no Champions League for us. Who were the stars on the pitch for us this time around? Ansu Fati, and I'm not even surprised. Look at those stats. Doku did well. New signing De Bruyne with nine assists. Montiel got injured, but he did fairly well. Varane just popped out of nowhere in my team, guys, honestly. Romero played a lot of the games too, but there you go. That is the five season management challenge with Aguero done. Not bad. Okay, so we can actually see what we've won in these five seasons as Aguero being manager. Two league titles, one domestic cup and two Champions Leagues. That is pretty good, I'd say. Oh, by the way, I didn't even realize we can literally get Aguero to wear any of these outfits as well. I just, I didn't know that. Maybe I should have done that earlier, boys. But yeah, whatever. This is where we're going to be ending off the video. Super fun challenge to record. Five seasons with Aguero. Fairly successful. Let me know if you guys want me to do this with any other club at some point. But if you enjoyed this, drop a like, subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.